Have you ever wondered how to diversify your investments without buying multiple stocks and bonds? It's a common conundrum, isn't it? You see, the beauty of investment lies in the art of diversification. Spreading your bets across different assets reduces the risk and increases the potential for returns. But managing multiple stocks and bonds can be quite the hassle, especially for the uninitiated. So, what's the solution here? Well, the answer to your dilemma could be exchange-traded funds or ETFs. So, what exactly are these exchange-traded funds? Well, let's break it down. Picture yourself walking into a supermarket. You need to make a delicious fruit salad so you start picking out apples, oranges, grapes, and so on. Now, imagine if you could buy all these fruits pre-packaged together, saving you time and effort. This, in essence, is what an exchange-traded fund, or ETF, does for you in the financial market. Now let's get a bit technical. An ETF is an investment fund that's traded on stock exchanges, much like individual stocks. It's designed to track the performance of a specific index, sector, commodity, or asset. When you hear the word track, think of a shadow that mimics every move you make. Similarly, an ETF tries to mimic the performance of its underlying index or asset. Think of it like a basket of various securities. These could be stocks, bonds, commodities, or a mix of these. Each ETF is structured to reflect a particular market index, like the S&P 500, or a specific sector, like technology or healthcare. Some ETFs even track commodities like gold or oil. The beauty of this is that it allows investors to diversify their portfolio without having to buy each individual security. It's a way to spread out your investment, reducing the risk of putting all your eggs in one basket. But here's the kicker. While the ETF aims to mirror the performance of its underlying index, it doesn't always match it exactly. This discrepancy is due to something called tracking error. But don't worry, we'll delve into that later. Just like our prepackaged fruit salad, ETFs offer a convenient and cost-effective way to gain exposure to a wide array of securities. It's a popular choice for both novice and seasoned investors looking to diversify their portfolios and potentially earn returns. Essentially, when you buy an ETF, you're buying a collection of various securities in one package. And who doesn't love a good package deal? Now that we know what ETFs are, how do they work? Well, the mechanics of exchange-traded funds are quite fascinating, and they operate in a way that combines the best aspects of both mutual funds and individual stocks. Firstly, similar to stocks, ETFs are traded on an exchange. This means that their prices fluctuate throughout the day as they are bought and sold, just like individual company shares. You can buy and sell ETFs at any time during the trading day at the current market price. This is a stark contrast to mutual funds, which are only bought and sold at the end of the trading day, at a price known as the net asset value. Now let's talk about how the performance of an ETF is tracked. Each ETF is designed to track the performance of a specific index, sector, commodity, or asset class. This could be anything from the entire US stock market, to a specific industry like technology or healthcare, to commodities like gold or oil. The goal of an ETF is to mirror the performance of the underlying asset it's tracking. So if the index or asset goes up, the ETF should go up. If it goes down, the ETF should go down. What about buying and selling ETFs? Well, just like individual stocks, you can buy ETFs on margin and sell them short. This means you can borrow money to buy more shares than you could afford with your own cash, or bet against an ETF if you think its price will drop. And unlike mutual funds, which often require a minimum investment, you can purchase as little as one share of an ETF. In essence, ETFs offer a unique blend of features from both stocks and mutual funds. They provide the diversification benefits of mutual funds, as they allow you to invest in a broad range of companies or assets with a single purchase. At the same time, they offer the flexibility and real-time trading capabilities of stocks. So by owning an ETF, you get the diversification of an index fund and the ability to sell short, buy on margin and purchase as little as one share. Sounds interesting, right? But what are the benefits of investing in ETFs? Well, let's dive into the advantages that make ETFs such a popular investment choice. Firstly, diversification. When you invest in an ETF, you're not just buying a single stock or bond, instead you're buying a basket of different assets. This could include hundreds or even thousands of stocks or bonds. This helps spread the risk and can provide a safety net against market volatility. Think of it like not putting all your eggs in one basket. Next, we have the flexibility in trading. Unlike mutual funds that are only priced at the end of the trading day, ETFs can be bought and sold throughout the day at market prices, just like stocks. 
This gives you the ability to react quickly to market changes. Want to sell in the morning and buy back in the afternoon? With ETFs, you can do just that. Then there are the lower expense ratios. ETFs typically have lower costs than mutual funds. This is because they are passively managed, meaning they aim to mimic the performance of an index rather than outperform it. The result? More money in your pocket. Lastly, ETFs are known for their tax efficiency. This is due to their unique structure. When you redeem shares of a mutual fund, the fund may need to sell securities, potentially triggering a capital gains tax. But with ETFs, the shares are traded between investors like a stock, avoiding this taxable event. This means you could potentially keep more of your returns. And there you have it. The advantages of ETFs include diversification, flexibility in trading, lower expense ratios, and tax efficiency. These features make ETFs a compelling choice for many investors. So, whether you're just starting out or you're a seasoned pro, ETFs might be worth adding to your investment portfolio. However, like any investment, ETFs also come with their own set of risks. First off, let's talk about market risk. This is the risk that the entire market will decline, and no matter how diversified your ETF is, if the market declines, your ETF will likely decline as well. You see, when you purchase an ETF, you're essentially buying a little piece of the entire market. So, if that market takes a nosedive, your investment may follow suit. It's a bit like being on a ship in the middle of the ocean. If a storm hits, it doesn't matter where on the ship you are, you're going to feel it. Next up is liquidity risk. This is the risk that you won't be able to sell your ETF when you want to. While ETFs are generally highly liquid, meaning you can buy or sell them throughout the trading day, some ETFs that track less popular indices or sectors may not be as liquid. In these cases, you might have difficulty selling your ETF shares without impacting the price. Lastly, let's talk about tracking error. This is the risk that the ETF won't accurately follow its underlying index. While ETFs are designed to track specific indices, they don't always do this perfectly. This can be due to a variety of factors including the costs of managing the ETF or changes in the makeup of the index. If the ETF doesn't track its index well, you might not get the returns you were expecting. So, while we've talked a lot about the benefits of ETFs, their flexibility, their cost effectiveness, their ability to provide diversification, it's important to remember that they also come with risks. Market risk, liquidity risk, and tracking error are all factors that could impact your returns. Thus, while ETFs offer many benefits, it's crucial to understand these risks before you invest. Remember, investing is not just about the potential for profit, but also about managing and understanding risk. So make sure to consider these factors before you decide to step into the world of ETFs. So let's recap what we've learned about ETFs. Exchange-traded funds, or ETFs as we've come to know them, are essentially investment funds traded on stock exchanges. They offer the flexibility of buying and selling shares just like any other publicly traded security. Boiling it down, they provide you with a way to buy an entire portfolio of stocks, bonds, or commodities in one single share. We've gone through the mechanics of how they operate. Remember how they're created and redeemed through an intricate dance between ETF sponsors and authorized participants, often large financial institutions. This process helps keep the ETF price close to its net asset value, ensuring that you're not paying significantly more or less than the actual worth of the assets within the ETF. We've highlighted the advantages of ETFs including their flexibility, transparency, and tax efficiency. They offer the ability to trade throughout the day, access to a broad range of asset classes, sectors and markets, and the potential for lower capital gains distributions. But let's not forget the risks. Like any investment, ETFs are not immune to market volatility. They can be influenced by tracking errors and liquidity issues. It's essential to consider these factors before diving into ETFs. Remember, the key to successful investing is understanding your investment options, and ETFs are just one part of the bigger picture. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to keep up with the latest content.